Hi, I'm Alex Wozner. Welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Abel. He asks, can I build VR apps on the web? That's a great question. Virtual reality is something that I've been waiting for since I was a kid, and now finally we have products like the Oculus Rift and Google Cardboard. The quick answer is yes. Web VR is the proposed spec from the Mozilla team for using these headsets to interact with the web, whether that be with video games or 360 video or even new interactive web experiences. When it comes to actually building stuff with it, it all depends on what sort of experience you want to give your users. There are already quite a few VR web apps out there, and most of them use the Web VR Polyfill. This allows you to use the Web VR APIs even if your browser doesn't support it yet. Mozilla has a bunch of info, including the proposed spec and a bunch of demos, on webvr.info and mozvr.com. They've also released a VR framework called A-Frame to quickly get up and running with your first Web VR project. I've used it on a few demos and can say it's easily the quickest way to get up and running with WebVR. It's basically custom markup that is then rendered with 3.js to a canvas. It has out-of-the-box support for desktop, iPhone, and even the Oculus Rift without having to configure anything. Since this technology is still so new, there are likely going to be new frameworks and tools that will make things even easier as time goes on. There's a couple things you need to keep in mind when working with WebVR. First, because of the nature of experimental APIs, expect breaking changes. That doesn't mean don't use it, it just means test often and keep up with the community to see additions or changes that you'll need to implement. Secondly, start thinking about how users without VR headsets will experience your web app. Just like how we had to learn responsive design to accommodate phones and tablets of all sizes, we need to do the same with VR. YouTube, for example, is already doing that for the 360 videos. It uses the phone's gyroscope to look around with the option of viewing with Google Cardboard. And finally, processing power and frame rate. Most VR headsets suggest a high-end computer to process all the data and maintain a solid frame rate. This really comes into play when doing 3D generated worlds in video games, but will definitely play a role in how your users experience your web app. Even my new MacBook Pro gets pretty toasty when I'm developing stuff with WebVR. Right now, most users testing these VR sites out will likely have pretty quick machines. But as VR grows in popularity, expect a wide variety of processing power between your users, and make sure you test on various settings so your users don't end up sick. That's it for this episode. As always, tweet your questions with hashtag AskAdev or leave them in the comments.